So where has Luke Noble been? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a great question. Thank you so much for asking. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for you to ask. But I have been in Atlanta. So for three months, I moved to Atlanta alone, not knowing anybody. And uh, I've worked a sales job which are two things that I am freaking excited to talk about that you will also be seeing coming up. Um, things I've learned from living alone in a city and things I've learned from working in sales because both of them have freaking leveled me up as a person. Man, I feel like I have learned so much, um, especially in the past month, um, about a lot of life things that I'm going to give to you very soon. But right now, that's not what this video is about. This video is about um, life update because I promised you that in the last one. So... I moved to Atlanta, worked a sales job. That's the short of it. Now, where I am going, where this channel is going, the direction, I have moved back home to North Carolina because of, not only because of this book I read, but one of the principles from this book really nailed this home for me. Um, it's this book that nobody's really talking about called The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, but it's super freaking good. Um, it's about how to balance one, being becoming rich, um, entrepreneurship, and two, being happy as fuck, which are two things that I'm very interested in. So I want to be rich, of course. <laughs> I want to have financial freedom. On top of that, I also want to be happy as hell. And one of the things that he preaches in this book is following and doing the things that one, that look like work to others, but two, just feel natural, feel like play to you. And I know those two things for me, those are um, entrepreneurship, self-improvement, entrepreneurship's broad, but mainly self-improvement. I love reading. I also love speaking and um, creating content like this. So this was a natural fit, but also, I am freaking in love with music, man. I've been trying to make, um, I've been making music. I've been uh, into music marketing. That's why I got a marketing degree in the first place is because I wanted to be a musician and market myself. So combining musicianship and entrepreneurship slash self-improvement, that's where this channel is going. So there is going to be a tint of musicianship. I'm not going to be teaching people exactly like basics on how to... Top, top three guitar chords you need to know to play a Johnny Cash song. Nah, that's not my bag. My bag is um, to motivate the next uh, generation of musicians after me by showing every step of the process of me becoming one of the greatest indie musicians of this century. And I know that sounds bold, and it's a big, big belief right there. But... Um, Whoever accomplished things without having big dick beliefs, nobody. Uh, the first step to actually accomplishing big things and doing shit is visualizing yourself doing it, believing you that you can do it. Um, so I'm taking that first step right now and just saying that I'm I'm going to be one of the biggest musicians in this niche up there with Lex of Mac and Marco with Dayglo. Um, because not because I'm extremely talented, because I'm I'm not. I'm I'm pretty average when it comes to just like naturally picking things up with music. But it is something I'm drawn to, and it's something that I'm willing to work at. And I believe that I can work out out outwork my competition. I believe that I have laser focus and a lot of drive that um, isn't super common, and so I can accomplish. Basically anything I set my mind to. <laughs> Big dick belief right there, I know. But if I really devoted myself for four hours a day to do anything, I could do it. Um, so my goal is to create content based around music, showing you guys actually what the fuck I'm doing to start to blow up as a musician, musician my strategy, my plan, um, and as I'm going through the trials and tribulations of doing this, I'm going to be also taking you along with me, showing you, man, this part sucks. Man, this part is amazing. This is how you actually get in to um, doing shows. This is how you actually boost your confidence. I'm gonna be doing a lot of mindset, mental work, 
because there's plenty of people out there who have given you the tips on top three chords to play a Johnny Cash song, top, uh, forget how to, how to uh, finger pick. And I'm not going to be the guy who's telling you that. I'm going to be the guy who's combining that with this is how you actually get shit done. These are the mindsets, the motivations, because there's not a lot of people on YouTube who are combining both music and having this um, <clears throat> mentality workshops, success workshops, a lot of more self-improvement topics, but I'm going to be applying them to music and showing you guys how I do that. Big things coming, boys. Follow along if you want to see how I do it. Oh, act now. And become a style.